my dad has got huge jazz collection so I brought up his jazz but I didn't like it fast but after I had Ashi jazz I just kind of get, got into it. Back then Charles Peterson, the United Future Organization was playing drum and bass it was very new at the time so I've been to the cl their club a lot I mean and I just had drum and bass but I didn't know what it is and then Bo Goldie's in a still life Logical progression, level one. That was past my drum bass experience. The first day I came here at 996. Yeah. It went through now. I mean, I've been trying to make drum and bass, but it was kind of it was really hard because no one was making drum and bass in Japan, so I didn't know how to make it. So it took like two years to make a drum and bass. And once I was satisfied, I was satisfied with I just sent demos to a few labels. And only Danny uh, got back to me saying, change that, change that. After the first album called Human Elements, I was DJing a lot. 2003. I signed to Good Looking Records. I met Makoto through Book Home and Comrade. I always work with her because I prefer to have one MC. We toured together. They introduced us as DJ and MC. We know each other very well and then I know what she's gonna do. She knows what I'm gonna do. We did the Progression Sessions album. And from then we just sort of progressed. It works. Naturally, soulful, jazzy vocals, just improvising and whatever Makoto plays. I like a lot of old school hip hop, like um, MC Light, you know, Salt and Pepper, um, Roxanne Chante, Tribe Called Quest. Yeah, I'm really getting into more production stuff at the moment. We've done a track called Monotonic and a track called Stop. One is for Bingo. Not sure what we're gonna do with the other one. Probably save it for Human Element.